YouTube. I got a good reason to make a video. So, uh, here we go. Got a package in the mail. I wouldn't say a long-awaited package, but um, made a purchase late last week. And uh, just by luck, I saw a posting on Instagram from uh, another fellow pipe smoker saying that um, uh, there's one more of these pipes that I've been looking for. Um, it's still available on eBay. So uh, I instantly went on eBay and, and hooked it up. And it was still there, so it was awesome. There are a few um, uh, American pipe makers that uh, are well known, and a lot of them that are new and um, aren't as publicized as, um, for instance, the one that I picked up um, the other day. But um, definitely, this is one that was on my list to. Uh, I def I wanted uh, one of these pipes. So some other some other pipe makers that uh, I will eventually pick up are uh, Joe Case. Um, he makes some awesome pipes. Um, I got a Boswell, you know, and I want to get a couple more Boswells. Um, who else? Balkovic. Um, definitely want a Balkovic. I just haven't been. Um, right place, right time type thing. They, they, some shops get them. I, I know the Danish pipe shop gets them, but they're marked up like considerably. And it's, to me, it's not worth it. Um, but, um, every now and then they'll come to a U.S. shop that sells them probably around the same price that, um, they, they get them for. And uh, there, he, he like bulk of it also also has a uh, a waiting list, but um, it is hard to get on. You know, I, I guess it's more of a past customer base or people that know him or whatever. I've tried and I haven't even got a response. So, um, and like uh, another pipe maker, Fat Bastard, makes some cool pipes. Um, Sandall. All these American pipe makers, independent pipe makers, um, make some awesome pipes. But this one I got today is from um, Jake Hackard, my first hacker, and I wanted to share it with you guys and uh, show you my awesome new pipe. So, here we go. I've always wanted a Hackard. I did contact Jake um, a while back to see if I can get on his waiting list, but uh, he responded as there's too many people. Look on eBay. Sorry, buddy. I'm like, okay. And uh, sure enough, I found one on eBay. All right. Got a, as you can see, a whole bunch of packing peanuts. And it looks like a black bag, black leather bag. Yeah, nice leather bag too. Cool. No markings on the outside of the bag, but you can tell it's like a heavy duty leather. Maybe leather, I don't know. No, made in China, so China cows, Chinese cows. A little card, looks like. Oh, yeah, it's all beat up. But, um, yeah, thank you, Dan. Enjoy. Regards, Jake. Let's go back. Well, thank you, card. Which is awesome. I, I've always wanted a hacker. Okay. <clears throat> Enough of the suspense. Bring them upside down. Yeah, you're upside down. Okay. Here we go. All right. There we go. Yeah. rusticated um, which is the the type of indentations that are around the bowl 
you can see the grain through the rustication which is pretty awesome and the grain looks good it's nice um, it has the uh, Hackard signature 2013 this is a brand new pipe um, the description said a rust stain color um, which is pretty uh, precise as in the color and um, the bowl yeah, it's huge like it doesn't fit my knuckle but um, yeah it's bigger than my middle finger but deep wise it goes pretty far it's been uh, burnt out <clears throat> so it's ready to smoke has a signature metal insignia on the stem the grain on top you see a little bird's eye yeah all around pretty awesome let's take off the stem yeah somebody told me or one of the and like super huge damn that's crazy I've never seen that before this uh, I think it's called the tenon um, is super deep it's uh, something I've never seen before <laughs> usually they're I don't know um, let's see behind that white uh, I wouldn't say half the size but not that long and I, I, I watched a video about uh, you never unscrew your tenon after a smoke because uh, it's hot it might warp the uh, acrylic or whatever this is called I forget the uh, name of it and uh, <clears throat> always when you take it off to turn it the direction the same direction and unscrew it type it's not a threaded thing but to always go the same direction so you don't warp the tenon or break it or whatever but um yeah i'm gonna wait till tonight to break this guy in um awesome i got my first hacker um it's not super heavy it's bigger than i thought it would be i, I don't know what these things I, I i picked up a poker um not too long ago and i was surprised how big it was i don't know why i was thinking it was going to be smaller but um yeah but i'm not disappointed at all his craftsmanship is awesome i don't know if you could see you can see some of the grain right in there it's like straight grain discoloring color's cool the only problem I, I i foresee with this pipe is um i've seen other people's uh, hackers after um a few years of smoke and I assume or maybe they're just some hardcore smokers and, and then the top gets burnt <clears throat> that might be just because uh, they're not careful with their their lighter or matches or whatever but <clears> or <throat> over packing their pipe I don't know but I'll, I'll take care of it and uh, definitely one for the collection I gotta get a, a uh, pipe rack going I was looking at some shelves and um, other things like that to uh, uh, store my pipes on instead of just having them in a heaping pile right now which I don't even want to show you guys because it's thrashed um, but yeah I'm going to get something together I did pick up uh, a buddy of mine wants to make a, a workbench and we were looking at plywoods and he wanted a hard wood um, sheet or a hardwood um, sheet of uh, plywood and we found an oak piece of uh, plywood that was sanded in good shape and um, I don't think he's going to use it all so I might do something with that whatever the remnant uh, pieces are maybe I can make something I don't know how big his bench is going to be but um We'll see. And um, yeah, I was at Lowe's at the other the other day and looking at shelves and just like the stuff they sell is just junk. 
for 20 bucks. It's this fiberboard bullshit. However, I did see some stuff on Instagram of other pipe smokers, and they have these clips, I guess they sell at Depot, that uh, perfectly fit like, the, uh, like right here. Like you mount them on a wall, or uh, not a wall, but or I guess you can do a wall. Um, or say a board. And these they're like rubber clips that you would screw into the, the board and just pop your pipe in. And it would just like sit there. Which was a cool idea. But I think I want a shelf. Maybe some stands on that shelf or something. Get a couple old tobacco tins to make it kind of cool looking. But um, yeah, that's it for today. Um, I don't think there was anything else I was going to talk about. I'll, uh, I wish all you guys um, <clears throat> a good week. Um, hope everything's going well. And uh, hope you all are enjoying your pipes and cigars. Um, and for now, that's it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.